Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you people how to install NS2 Network Simulator inside your Ubuntu system. Now as I'm on Windows 7, I'm not going to install Ubuntu as a separate partition in my system. So I will use a software called Oracle VM Virtual Box which will let me install Ubuntu inside my Windows system. So for that I need to download Virtual Box first and you can download from this link and select this Windows host and download the latest version and make sure you click on x86 by AMD64. Now once it's downloaded and installed you have to open this software and uh, just keep it minimized as I've already installed it so I'm just I will show you again. Now the second important thing is that you need to have Ubuntu 12.04 LTS Precise Spangolin. Now you need to download this version PC Intel x86 desktop CD2 uh, make sure you don't download the latest release of Ubuntu which is Ubuntu 14.04 the problem with 14.04 is that NS2 emulator has some bugs when it runs on 14.04 and for fixing that bugs you need almost such a big article for installing a software that just needs three lines of codes so you just have to close this uh, click on this link this uh, it will start downloading so once it's downloaded what you have to do is to open your Oracle VM virtual box click on new and type something like Ubuntu 12.04 as I've already named 12.04.5 I will need something Ubuntu for beginners let's suppose and uh, select 32 bit version because this is what I downloaded 1024 which is equals to 1 gig good enough uh, create a virtual hard drive now VDI best option uh, fixed size excellent and let's give it almost 20 15 gigs that's pretty good click on create it will take some time and uh, definitely I can wait I will just skip it now once it's done you will get something like this Ubuntu for beginners now I didn't created it so it's the old name you have to make sure change a few settings you have to go to advanced see the okay system 1024 memory click on CD and hard drive keep the settings like these ones uh, go to the processor assign just run processor and execution back cap totally 100% in the acceleration you have to enable both of these options in the display give the highest possible video memory you can I'm able to give just 128 of memory and enable 3D acceleration only remote display leave like this okay now here comes an important part in the CD option you have to choose a CD drive click like this and in your download sections where you downloaded select this and you have to open now I have selected and installed already I'm not going to do this and make sure you go to network adopter and just make like settings like this and press the OK button okay so you have to press the OK button and that's it I am pressing cancel because I don't want to make any change in my system after that you have to press start and your Ubuntu system will be running in just a few seconds so we can wait definitely uh, now I am running it on full screen uh, you will when you will start running it basically it will be running in such a small screen and for that you need to install Ubuntu guest versions and how you have to install the Ubuntu guest versions you have to click here and then click here so that you get the full screen edition um, it comes along with that you have to click here there will be some few commands opening inside your Ubuntu system simply press enter a few times it ask you like whatever it says you to do simply do that and restart your system and you will get the full screen this is what I did and got the full screen 1366 cross 768 resolution TRAGATA 393 sorry I just spoke my password as well so it's starting so here I am now instead of typing such big commands like two page commands I'm gonna show you just a three uh, step method go to this or you can alternatively alternatively type all control alt T and you will get the terminal but this is the easiest method for those who are new 
you have to type sudo apt minus get install and uh, the name of it's ns2 press that if it will ask you for your password i just entered my password and okay i just installed it so it will take like one or two seconds after that you have to install apt minus get install nam press enter it's it will be installed take a few seconds that will be up i've already installed it's, it just passed away and yes it will ask you for something like do you want to press yes and say yes all this is what you have to do it's pretty simple and after that sudo apt minus get install and x graph that's it and press clear you now there will be some screens running down there you have to make decisions accordingly uh, now in order to check whether it's running on I have this page which says you have to type NS as you might see here just type NS and yes I got a percentage sign that's it press clear and press exit it's and I have to check NAM this is also this is basically the main tool go to file new and I hope so you will be working on this software thank you very much subscribe for more if you have any questions you can simply ask me thank you very much